Hey, welcome to another surgery recovery update. This is day 37, and uh, today I'm on the iWalk, and um, it's uh, working pretty well. My dad made uh, a little piece to uh, fix it. It actually broke. Part of the part of it broke. My dad, the expert fabricator that he is, um, made it to where it'll it'll hold. <laughs> while longer if I need to I can always buy that part again that's the nice thing about iWalk is that everything is modular you can buy everything that you need but I'm here in the hall where we're going to be holding the reception for my cousin's wedding and I wanted to show you the lights now that they're set up in here so so when this is all going, um, if we need to just turn it off, it's all just one button right here. Blackout. And the lights kind of go to sleep. They stay nice and cool in this kind of dormant position. And uh, the only thing really is just a little fan going and those LED lights. So. I've got them all numbered, so I know which ones to put where. Here's number four. So naturally the one on the opposite side of the room was number one. So. There you have it. Well, here is my iWalk 2.0. How it sits when I'm using it and uh, last night while I was getting this out of my dad's car this piece broke um, I don't know if you can see that right there it starts a crack and it actually goes all the way through diagonally to right there focusing on the wrong thing here come on camera <laughs> um, so my dad fabricated this little metal piece here to, uh, it's uh, just pretty clever the way he used what was there. I did not think he was gonna fix that. But one of the issues I've had with these straps is that they, uh, when I unhook it from the other side, this side a lot of times will come undone uh, accidentally. So, um, now that this little piece of metal in there, it actually fits very snug and I'm not worried about that coming off at all. Um, since I'm not going to be using this for the other leg, I prefer the straps to come on the inside of my thigh and come around to the outside so that I can use my good hand or available hand on the outside there real easy to, uh, once this is latched on there, I tighten it up here. Um, with that strap and then uh, when I'm ready to take it off I just pull back on this and it loosens very easily to an exact point because the way the strap is kind of folded in there and then I just push that forward and it comes off and that's usually when this would pop off so not only is it more sturdy I think than ever um, but uh, also my strap is more secure. These straps never had any problem coming off, um, which is confusing to me since these have gravity pulling down, which is, you know, down is the direction those would need to go to, to come off, you have to. So I would have thought that would make it easier for those to come off, but these don't ever come off on their own. And this one is at kind of a diagonal since the pressure goes up at a diagonal around my knee. 
Um, yeah. These things really do have to be on very tight or it can be very uncomfortable. Um, if it's if it's too loose to where it's not potentially uncomfortable because of the tightness, then it slops around and it comes away from your knee and then you get sore really, really fast and the movement is really belabored because your knee comes up and then you reach the end of the strap. Then it comes off the ground. It's this, uh, adds an extra step to momentum and it fights you the whole way but if you have it tight really tight around uh, the thigh the knee and the uh, across the back of the calf um, it stays with you your knee never comes off of the pad there um, and it's just an extension of yourself um, in fact sometimes it could be so comfortable that I don't uh, step uh, carefully enough and my knee gets kind of beat up but uh, you just got to be smart with it um, but I'm super stoked about that little upgrade right there um, yeah definitely inspires confidence this plastic is that kind of plastic that uh, usually once it breaks it's it's over um, <laughs> but uh, he also put in a small piece in between here and glued that in and then put the pad on top of that so it's super reinforced on both sides and uh, I'm really really uh, pleased with that so yep I'm sitting here in front of the place where my cousin Vance is gonna get married I'm very excited uh, I know I sound it <laughs> it's been a long morning we got up early got everything set up um, and uh, definitely uh, happy. That's my mom over there. I'm not sure who she's talking to, but we, uh, we had to park ourselves out here. We were just gonna leave, uh, but we decided it was better to have a presence out here. There, uh, the park is still open to the public. So uh, this, this pond over here was just stocked with fish. So people are down here and they're fishing with their families. Uh, I can't, don't know if you can see them in the shot, but there's some people over there. Some, I hear a kid off in the distance. There, there being a lot of traffic. Uh, for our sound reinforcement, we have power coming from that building over there. We're going to set up on that speaker stand right there by the tree. I don't know if you can see that. I've got the speaker down there on the ground. You saw my folding chair in the other shot. Um, we're going to be set up over there while the uh, bride and groom and officiant are standing over here. So we have to have, we might need three mic cables to make the, the reach. It's a lot further than it looks. And two was just barely enough before we moved. We had the archway closer to the bridge before and now they've moved it further this way. But uh, the good news is we came prepared. We have enough cables to make that work and uh, everything's just going really smoothly. So, see now we have some park visitors. And now for a little bit, I just get to kick back in this zero gravity chair of my dad's. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you've seen these before. It's very comfortable. I like it a lot. So I think I might take a little bit of nap here in between before people come back. So I hope you're having a great day. God bless you. Thanks again for watching my videos. Be sure to click like if you liked it and leave a comment if you'd like. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.